Okay, purpose of this video is to show you what I've done for modifications on a Apertura D12 Dobsonian telescope. You can pretty much do it with all of them. So this one is more of a baseline. I got it from High Point Scientific. I've had it in a few videos. It works very well. It's a light bucket. Uh, one thing with these scopes is transporting. And the biggest thing I found with this big one is you buy one of these straps where you got a claw on it that doesn't have the hooks on the end and I don't know I paid like six dollars for it went around it of course tightened it up and then I just take the end and tied it off on a square knot on there so what that enables me to do is literally pick the scope up and hold hold up here with my hand and grab that and I got something to hang on to and it works just beautiful and seriously doubt it's ever going to break. Um, I inspect it in that, and that's a lifesaver. This is probably, for hauling it, one of the most awesome uh, mods a person could do. The other mods are, uh, this one is spring-loaded, there's no tensioners, and I'd put these springs on to add to it. Basically, the scope uh, sits in there, cradles in and that rides on some bushings and the spring holds it down. When you start adding a uh, camera and stuff like that this thing gets top heavy fast. What I found was I took an old ring magnet, this, where you buy like say at Harbor Freight one of them welding magnets, take it apart and put tape on it. And that way it enables you to move it just like this is another See how that it's sliding up now? Put that magnet on. And I'm not going to be needing that no more. But um, the magnets are awesome. Just get some ferrite magnets and put electrical tape around them. And works great for the simple sa uh, sake of if you got too much tension, even on the higher end ones, it's hard to move it up and down like that well if you take all the tension off and you just got the magnets to adjust it when you put your uh, camera on you can just touch that thing and it moves just beautiful and that's what I found out there another modification was this a green laser pointer and I could put a link down below uh, this took the place of this 8x50 scope it does its job but not that great that green laser pointer at night, you can see the beam shooting straight up, and you can adjust it just perfect. And this didn't hardly cost anything. This was a good addition, but you can only use it at nighttime. Now, another modification I am going to do now, and it's the main reason why I'm putting this video up, are these three screws. You always got to collimate this thing every time. And what I'm going to do is take them three screws out and replace it with this setup right here what this started out as was a number four or a four millimeter a m4 screw that's 60 millimeters long I think a 70 degree pitch I'm going to take three of these take these four millimeter wing nut run them up to the end take a screwdriver and stuck it down get three of them done okay I got these three done so now, we're coming over here, and I'm going to take uh, one screw off at a time, take that off, and thread that in. It's a little bit long, but it should be, shouldn't hurt nothing, shouldn't be in the way of anything. Got that tight, I'm going to take these two off and put them other ones on. Yeah, they are quite a bit longer than the stock ones almost a good inch. Okay, I got these on. For the cost of maybe three, two to three dollars, I've replaced them versus buying, you can buy them pre-made for like 20 some bucks. And down in there, my, you probably can't see it with the camera, but my collimation's off. For the first time, I'm gonna attempt to adjust it by turning the nuts without 
screwdriver. And I did it. That is awesome. That worked great. Couple dollar modification. Now if this is too long, which I don't seriously doubt it is, all you gotta do is cut them screws down a little, re-thread it, and it fits like a glove. So that's cool. So there you are, simple mods to a reflector Dipsonian telescope. The magnets, the knobs on the end, and the laser finder scope gives you a steadier movement, enables you to find the objects quicker, enables you to collimate on the fly without the use of a screwdriver, all for probably 25 bucks. And the transport strap. Yeah, put a little bit over $30. Pretty awesome, I'm impressed. They should be coming like that from the factory. Being as it's windy out, that's enough for today. So there you go. Till the next time.